Happening today on the stage, it's the world's first comic strip opera, and it is headed to the Cell Theater this weekend. Too much coffee, man. Opera tells of a tale of a caffeinated superhero and his quest to win the love of his fair barista. Joining us now is Daniel Stevens Kraft, composer and co-founder of Gonzo Opera, along with Paul Bauer. Good morning. So, which one of you plays the Too Much Coffee Man? Uh, <laughs> oh, it must be me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so tell us a little bit more about this story because you know you said it is based on a comic strip. Uh, was it was there a story within the comic strip and you said I got to turn this in or did you see the comic strip and you created the the opera out of it? Well, it was a, kind of a funny thing. I've known Shannon Wheeler for many many years. He's been doing the comic strip for some twenty years. We were having dinner in San Francisco and we thought, well, would would it wouldn't it be fun to work together? But what would we do? He writes comic books. I compose serious classical music. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the idea of an opera on Too Much Coffee Man came up, and we both thought it was a terrible idea. <laughs> About a month later, he had a dream that his characters were singing opera to him. So he got up, he wrote down some lyrics, a basic scenario, sent it to me. I thought it was hilarious, and really just for fun, I set it to music. No kidding. And he produced it up in Portland, where he lives, and it's gone on from there. We've produced it, uh, I think we've had more than uh, 70, 70 productions no of it. No kidding. So wow. over the last 10 years or so. And, wow. Uh, so it, what, what about the story itself? What is the storyline? <laughs> Well, uh, basically, Coffee Man has to choose between the barista and the coffee, which one, <laughs> which one he loves more. Yes. And obviously, he is uh, addicted to coffee and, and can't get enough of it. But then he's in love with this beautiful barista who serves him the coffee. And so it's a love triangle in a way. <laughs> love triangle. And then, and then there's the espresso man who gets in the way. So, um, okay, so I won't, I won't it, give any more of it. It really gets right? complicated. The storyline gets complicated. Now, uh, we obviously, this seems like a really kind of a, a silly, fun thing. Uh, and as you said, when people think of opera, they think oh, it's very serious and they think of Pavarotti. And, you know, we have all these conceptions of what it is. Is this a good opera to come into if we're not opera fans? Absolutely. In fact, it is the opera to come to if you're, especially if you're not an opera fan. Mm -hmm. We took it down to Comic Con. And it went no over tremendously at, com at opera, at Comic-Con. Was, okay, so was anyone me? cosplaying the Too Much Coffee Man? Have we seen any cosplaying in Too Much Coffee Man? Any like people dressing up as Coffee Man? Oh, well, yes. Oh, okay, yes, really? Right. Okay. Not, not so much necessarily uh, reflecting the opera, but mm. definitely reflecting the comic strip. No people do dress up as Too Much Coffee Man for that Halloween so cool. and various things like that. Well, I know that, what I'm doing so this Halloween. Funny. But it is, I, I should say, it is real opera in the sense that we have wonderful performers mm -hmm. like Paul, some of the best performers, classical performers in, in New Mexico, mm -hmm. but putting them into wild and crazy situations that you'd never expect to find in traditional opera. And it's that dichotomy that makes it funny. Makes yeah. it funny. How fun is it to play a cartoon character and sing opera? It's it's great. I, this is, I think, the first time I've played a cartoon character. <laughs> okay. uh, in a way, a cartoon superhero. Uh, but uh, it, it's great. It, comedy is always a lot of fun to do, and uh, you know, you just you just get to be goofy on stage. And, but you know, like Daniel said, uh, you get to sing legitimately. I mean, you get to sing yeah. with your full voice and, and really enjoy some nice long lines and some high notes that you can hold and sustain. But with very funny lyrics and funny interactions, there's a there's a, a very funny fight scene between espresso guy and coffee man <laughs> that you know no. <laughs> No punches land, and, and they're missing by miles. But it's just, it's just really fun stuff. No, it's just know, one so. weekend. We got to tell folks at the Cell Theater. How do we get tickets? Uh, you can go to the Cell website, okay. or you can buy them at the door. At the door, Either okay. way, it's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Eight o'clock Friday and Saturday, and three o'clock on Sunday. Fantastic. Well, guys, break legs. I, I'm assuming we say break legs <laughs> in the opera. <laughs> sure. Have a lot of fun. Have an extra cup of coffee for you. For more information on Too Much Coffee Man Opera, just head over to foxnewmexico.com.